All right, let's start out with the easy questions. What's your name? Denise McCarran. Um, are you willing to reveal how old you are, Denise? If I can remember. <laughs> Forty-seven. Oh, well, that's good. Um, you have four children. Correct. And husband. Correct. Still. <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys also have a dairy besides these roost, the chickens here. How many? How long did you have that dairy before you started with these chickens? Uh, we've always had the dairy. The dairy was started in '81. Okay. So it was before we were married. Okay. But he was a dairy farmer. And about, you know, what's, about how many do you milk for the dairy? Uh, about a hundred. I think there's maybe 96. Okay. Milk. Changes every day. Yeah. And, um, what made you decide to start with this, the chickens here? Well, we're pretty much already tied down with a dairy farm. I mean, mm -hmm. these chickens, they tie, somebody has to be here every day, just mm -hmm. like a dairy farm. And... I don't know. We um, had looked into it a long time ago and didn't do it. And then um, the kids were getting older and it just seemed like the right thing to do. I've always liked chickens. Mm -hmm. uh, and it seemed like something that I could do, that I could take care of, and John wouldn't have to be too involved in. Since uh, Case provides a field man to take care of some of the you know decisions that have to be made and then... It's pretty much self-automated. Of course, mm -hmm. the equipment has to be looked at and taken care of, but pretty much John only has to come over when there's a problem. Yeah, so. something you need an extra hand with. And like you said, you go through this barn at least three times a day from one end to the other. Right. Check, you know, looking for anything that needs looking after, any chickens that need some help and something they got into. Um, so it was something I could do. And still stay here on the farm. Yeah. You know, it was kind of a, another job. And so mm -hmm. it's, it's worked out well. And like I'd asked you about before, you were a nurse years ago when your kids were really small. Was that correct? Mm -hmm. I, went, I went to Med Central, which it was Mansfield General, mm -hmm. then right after high school, which was in 81, and graduated in 84. And worked at a nursing home for about a year and then got into the neuro floor at Mansfield General. Okay. And worked there for a couple of years, and then I worked on the pediatric floor for another... I, I was a nurse for about 10 years. Okay. What, um... Can, kind of a personal, que personal question. What w make, kind of made you decide to just work on the farm and instead? Well, I enjoyed the farm. I enjoy everything that goes on here. And... Nursing was um, something that's always changing, and it's very high demand, and my children were little, and I kind of wanted to be home with them, and either I was going to have to step it up, and it's, it, nursing isn't really something you can just do every now and then, because I was on call for a little bit, mm -hmm. but when I would go back, everything would just change, so yeah. I just was getting to where I, didn't, I did not want to work on call. I was either going to have to work full time or not at all. Yeah. So we decided that there was plenty here to keep keep me busy, and so that's what we did. Mm hmm Now, for your four kids, you still do you just still have the one that helps out on the farm, or I mean, you have one that lives in another state for college at least, and then what are the other three doing as far as the farm's concerned? I don't think any of them. The other three will come back to the farm. Mm -hmm. uh, the oldest one was an animal science major and she really likes the cattle and comes home and works on, the oldest daughter, mm -hmm. works on the weekends. But she's starting her own family and yeah, she still would like to be involved but I don't know how much. Yeah. Yeah, but as she starts her own family, that's gonna, you know, she's married and they have to figure out where they're gonna be at and stuff. It's not just her anymore, is it? Right. His job was there, and they decided to stick with that. So. Yeah. Okay. Um. What are your hobbies? I know that you are the cross country coach at the local high school, and you put a lot of time in that. Um. What are some other things that you do? And you actually run yourself. You're not just like the coach that 
says run this or that, you run yourself. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my hobby is running, and I run pretty much every morning, and then I have practice, which I, we started in, we did some limited running in June, we mm -hmm. ran in July, and then our season starts in August, and we're still going. Um, my high school girls team is ranked fourth in the state right now. Wow! We just got our first district crown. Wow. The district, which is school history. Yeah. This team made it to state last year, which was the first time for Crestview history. And then my number one runner just broke the school record, which was 26 years old. <laughs> so uh, That's a lot to be proud of, Denise. Yeah, they're a very good team. I had three guys move on to the regional on the guys team. So uh, that's pretty much a really big hobby, and it takes a lot of my time. <laughs> We have the sports banquet Tuesday, so I have to get all that. And I'm not a real good public speaker, as you probably noticed. No, you are doing just fine. <laughs> Honestly, you are. <laughs> so those sports banquets make me nervous. But, um, yeah, we wanted to try and start a swim team even on top of all of that, which the school isn't going to let us do, because I really like triathlons. Mm -hmm. The swimming, the biking, and the running. And so several of the kids do, too. Uh-huh. And then I also coach track. Okay. <clears throat> so. so you're busy fall and spring with the school and then, of course, every day here. Yeah. So. Now, now I'm grandkids, so that's, that's <laughs> my next big hobby. <laughs> yeah, your next big hobby, your big project. Yeah, my grandson just had his one-year birthday, and it was so fun. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's good. Um. 